Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, Primal. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. 12,000 years ago, a caveman is seen writing on the rock wall. A humanoid figure approaches silently behind him and kills him, leaving only his bloody handprint on the walls. Fast forward to the present day, anthropology student Dace and his friends Enia, Warren, Chad, Mel, and Chris drive to the mountains to study rock paintings. Enia regrets having no information on the paintings other than some unreliable information passed down to her by her distant great-great-uncle, but they continue anyway. Right then, a flashback of Enia's uncle is shown. He has encountered a rabid and mutated young girl who is about to eat a dead human. He puts her out of her misery and cuts her down with a machete. The group decides to play games and joke around to pass the time. Dace suddenly stops the car when he sees the mountains in the photos just to their side. They continue driving and finally arrive at the site. They climb around the rocky mountains and take a shortcut through a dark tunnel. They walk around the tunnel with flashlights. But Chris notices that Enya is missing from the group. She looks around and finally sees Enya, who is getting claustrophobic from the tight walls. Chris comforts Enya. Meanwhile, the rest of the group finds the rock paintings. Warren scares Kate for a prank, but they quickly move on and traverse the group. Enya's anxiety gets worse, and she starts losing control over her body. She cuts herself on the rock walls, and her blood drips to the ground. She then blacks out completely. Enya wakes up outside the cave with all of her friends. They start treating the wound on her arm. But Dace insists that they should go through the cave anyway, since driving around would take much longer. However, Enya cannot push through, and the group decides to split up. The rest of the group brings the supplies through the cave and sets up camp, while Enya drives the long way round. Before leaving, Mel angrily tells Enya that she should just get over it, since the cave is no big deal for her. Back in the cave, a monster stirs, as the scent of Enya's blood fills the caves. The big group passes through the cave and sees the rock paintings from the opening scene. Later, Enya finally catches up to the group, and they unpack their remaining supplies. They set up camp. Enya grabs a drink, then walks over to the nearby lake with Warren. Near the lake's edge, Warren picks up a broken bottle of vodka that looks like its bottom has been chewed off. He thinks that Mel has been littering again and gets slightly upset. Warren takes a closer look at the bottle and drops it when he realizes that it is covered with bugs. Shortly after, the group tries to analyze the old rock painting. They notice a gruesome-looking sketch on the wall and try to guess what it means. Enya is drawn to the wall and climbs up to lay her hand on the bloody handprint, but she is stopped by her friends. She and Warren decide to prepare dinner, as Dace and Chris remain and take pictures of the paintings. Dace asks Chris what she thinks the paintings are about. She says that the other paintings could be a reference to the gruesome sketch on the wall earlier. Behind them, an unknown creature watches silently from the tall grass. Chris steps back to take a picture of Dace, and the creature attacks Chris suddenly, leaving a wound on her leg. Dace grabs a rock to fight the creature, but it is hiding well in the tall grass. The creature suddenly runs up to Dace and pulls him down to the ground. Back at the campsite, the rest of the group cooks dinner. Dace and Chris return with the creature that attacked them, which turns out to be a mutated rabbit. He shows them its horrifying mutated teeth before skewering it on a nearby pole. Later that night, the group gathers around the fire to relax. Dace and Chris leave the group to look at the stars, while Mel and her boyfriend Chad decide to go skinny dipping at the nearby lake. Mel enters the lake and invites Chad in for a hormone bath, but he totally loses interest in her and only gives her a towel for her naked body. They get into an argument as Mel tries to stop him from leaving. Chad walks away, but Mel exits the water and stops him. Chad is surprised to find Mel covered in leeches. Mel screams, and Dace comes to her aid. He grabs the salt and removes the leeches on Mel's body. After the leeches are removed, they all regroup and head to bed for the night. Enya and Warren remain and begin talking. They start talking about Enya's regrets about never fighting back against her old lovers and even her claustrophobia. Warren comforts her with his muscles. Enya goes to her tent, and Warren offers to sleep by the fire to protect the camp in case more mutant rabbits attack. Later that night, Mel gets a fever and starts hallucinating. Dace shrugs it off as an allergic reaction, but the other members want to bring her to a hospital. Chad gives her some medicine, but her mouth starts to bleed. A few hours later, Mel starts groaning in pain. Enya checks up on her and sees that Mel's teeth are falling out. Mel is hysterical and screams. Enya tries to calm her down, as Chad convinces the other members to bring Mel to the hospital. However, Dace strongly refuses to leave, as the cave paintings still have to be studied for their mission. 
but Dace is finally convinced that Mel needs medical help. Enya grabs her things, but finds a massive hole in her bag and in the tent, caused by a swarm of bugs like the one on the bottle they found earlier. As they bring Mel to the car, Enya tells Dace about the bugs consuming the tent and their things. However, Dace is frustrated by having to leave and doesn't listen to her. Enya notices that the tires have also been destroyed by the bugs. With no choice left, they decide to walk to the nearest town. They bring Mel back to the camp and prepare a stretchery carrier. While asleep in the tent, Mel starts growing fangs. Morning comes, and the group prepares to leave. Chris walks up to Mel, who is acting strangely. Suddenly, Mel turns around, eating the dead rabbit from earlier. She reveals her teeth, knocks Chris away, and attacks Chad. Dace tries to fight her with a torch, but the now mutant Mel runs away from the camp due to the fire. Warren runs to the car to grab a medicine kit for Chad, but Mel arrives and attacks Warren. Dace arrives and beats Mel with a stick, allowing Warren to run away. Despite multiple beatings, the mutated Mel appears unhurt. While Enya treats Chad's wounds, Chris looks through the photos in the camera and realizes that the paintings were warnings against mysterious bugs. Meanwhile, Mel hunts a kangaroo and eats half of it. She brings the other half back to a cave, where it is consumed by an invisible monster. Back in the camp, the group decides to trap Mel. They prepare a tarp to wrap her in, as well as torches to protect themselves from Mel, as she seems to be afraid of fire. Dace volunteers to wait from above the tree and activate the trap. He then tells Chad to act as bait and orders the others to flush Mel out from the forest, using their torches. The group disperses, and Chad waits for Mel to come. Mel watches Warren from afar, then hides away. Mel appears again, this time in front of Enya, and tries to attack her. Enya calls out to the rest of the group, while keeping Mel at bay with the torch. Just as Enya's torch is about to run out, Warren arrives and drives Mel back. They run away, and Mel chases them. They are chased back to the campsite, where Mel spots Chad. She rushes to him and jumps at him. But the trap is sprung, and she gets caught. While the group debate on what to do with Mel, Mel tears the tarp apart and escapes. They manage to secure her with ropes, but she pulls them away and chases after the smelly Chad. Fortunately, Enya manages to knock her out with the torch before anything worse happens. Warren teases Mel's hormones while she is unconscious, but she suddenly wakes up and kills him by biting his throat out. She chases after the rest of the group, while Enya desperately tries to save Warren. Dace manages to escape Mel by diving into the lake. Believing that the leeches cause Mel's mutation, he runs out of the water. He checks if any leeches bit him, but there are none. That night, the group debated what to do with Mel. Suddenly, Mel returns, and they try to shoo her away, but she eats Warren's body. Dace tells the group that they have to kill her, but Chad refuses because Mel is his girlfriend. Dace tells him to wake up and face reality, but Chad still refuses. Dace throws a stick at Mel and tells her to leave to play with the stick like a dog. She leaves and drives Warren's body with her. The rest of the group agrees to take Mel out, but Chad tells them that he won't give up on her. Mel eats half of Warren's body and throws the rest into the cave like earlier. She then screams into the night. The group looks for weapons, but finds nothing. The only machete they have is still in the back of the car. Because of the virus, Dace mistakenly calls Chad by a wrong name when asking him to help. They devise a plan to get the machete from the car, but Dace suddenly feels pain in his legs. They are confused since Dace didn't get bit by the leeches, but they soon realize that the water is the cause. Enya, Chad, and Chris finally agree to kill him, since they can't fight him if he turns into a mutant like Mel. They draw straws, and Enya loses. At that time, Dace starts losing his teeth. Enya tries to cut his neck, but cannot bring herself to do it. After Chad and Chris force her, she grabs a rock and drops it on Dace's head. He stirs, and Chad asks Enya to do it again, but she refuses. Mel suddenly appears. Enya drives her back with a torch and tells Chad to finish Dace. However, Chad is hesitant, and Mel escapes with Dace. Chris goes to get the machete from the car, while Enya and Chad follow Dace. They find him, but Mel is protecting him, so that he can turn completely into a mutant like her. Chad tries to reason with Mel, and turn her back to normal. He drops the torch, hoping that she can still revert to normal, but Mel attacks him anyway. Enya runs to Dace, and tries to finish him off, but Mel chases her away. Meanwhile, Chris tries to look for the machete, but cannot find it. Mel catches up to Enya and starts dragging her through the forest. Enya escapes into a cave, but Mel surprisingly doesn't follow her. She realizes that Mel is afraid of the cave for some reason. Dace, who is completely mutated now, goes to the car and attacks Chris, who is still looking for the machete. He breaks into the car and chases after Chris who has finally found the machete. Mel hears Chris screams and goes to her. 
Dace is about to bite Chris when Mel arrives and unexpectedly stops him. Mel drags Chris away, while Dace faces the two remaining survivors, preventing them from following further. While Chad treats his wounds, Enya looks for the machete. She returns and tells Chad that they are afraid of caves and tunnels. Chad is skeptical of the plan because of Enya's claustrophobia, but they decide to push through anyway. On their way to the tunnel, they see Dace and Mel feasting on Warren's body and sneak around them. Dace starts getting down and dirty with Mel, but Chad and Enya stay silent and continue moving forward. However, Chad cannot resist his jealousy and anger. Despite Enya's warnings, he goes back, trying to blow Dace's mutated hormones away from his mutated girlfriend. Enya lights her torch and chases after Chad who gets attacked by Dace. Chad fights Dace with a machete. He manages to cut Dace, but Dace bites his neck and they fall together. Enya picks up Chad's machete and drives Mel away while entering the tunnel. Mel cannot follow, and Enya goes further deeper into the tunnel. Right then, her claustrophobia kicks in, and she starts to panic. A monstrous tentacle appears from the rock that Enya cut herself on when she fainted earlier. She turns around, but the tentacle with GPS function quickly retracts itself. Further into the cave, Enya finds the missing Chris, who is now hysterical. She guides Chris through the tunnel, but stops when she notices Chris' stomach bulging, as if she were pregnant. Suddenly, the GPS tentacles appear from the walls and grab Enya's limbs, restraining her while on the floor. Enya tells Chris to grab the machete and cut her loose. Chris grabs the machete, but instead of freeing Enya, she cuts her stomach open. A monster parasite falls out, and Chris kills it with the machete. Before Chris manages to cut Enya loose, a GPS tentacle grabs her and smashes her against the wall, killing her in an instant. The hormone-rich creature emerges from the ground and tries to impregnate Enya, in order to replace the child that Chris just killed. However, Enya grabs the machete and slashes the horny creature, before finally running out of the tunnel. She celebrates outside, but Mel appears out of thin air and jumps at her. Enya manages to injure Mel by throwing her against a tree, therefore breaking Mel's back. She picks up a rock and walks over to Mel, then drops it on her head, finally killing her for good. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.